Hey, what's up, good people? Welcome to Poetically Christian. Thank you so much for being part of the PC Tribe. My name is Derek, and this is another edition of The Blind Pastor Plays, the series where I, a legally blind pastor, try to overcome gains while we grow in our faith and we have some fun. Yes, being blind is the cross that I carry, but it is no longer scary because God has helped me through and he will do the exact same thing for you. Yes, in this life, guys, give your faith a chance and see how God will help you through this little thing we call life's dance. Yes, guys, today we are going to play in honor of The Mandalorian Season 3 getting ready to start. We're going to play some Star Wars Battlefront 2, and we're going to play as the OG Mando himself, Boba Fett. Yes, the Mandos have a code, don't they? Their armor, their code, their loyalty to the Mando is their most important thing, isn't it? They live by a code. You know what I thought fitting to go along with the gameplay today? Us as Christians, we got a code to live by as well. And Jesus Christ, our Savior, tells us about it. In Luke, the ninth chapter, verse 23, there Jesus told us all that if any man will come after me, let him deny himself and take up his cross daily and follow me. Yes, guys, we have a code just like the Mando. Wherever we go in this life and whatever we do, we represent the name of Christ. We carry the name of Christ wherever we go. So folks, see your Christian actions and how you talk and how you act, the things you say and what you do is so so important. Yes, the Mando will not. They do a lot of crazy things, don't they? They have bounties. They have all these different things. But the one thing that matters most to them is their code. And being Mando is the same thing with us. Yes, there's a lot of interests we have in this life, a lot of things we do. But our faith should matter most. The name of Christ should matter most. And how we hold ourselves in this world and trying to further the kingdom should matter most. So guys, let's live by the code. Let's do our best when we're out there to try to reach others and be the best Christian we can be. With that being said, guys, as always, let's do this. Let's see how good we can do. You know me and shooters as I'm not the best. <laughs> Thank you once again for being part of the safe zone for God's own. Shooters and I do not mix. Oh, that's crazy. Got like a thermal detonator thing. There's his jetpack. All right. Oh. Oh, that's wild. Sorry guys, I'm learning as I go. <laughs> yeah, I'm uh... being uh, legally blind presents a set of challenges, especially with a, a shooter, as you guys would imagine. Oh, they got me. But uh, we do our best. I got a small little field of vision. If you're new to this series, you're like, how in the world is a blind guy playing Battlefront 2? Well. I have a tiny little set of peripheral vision that the Lord has afforded me to play games just like this. And I do my best. But shooters are not really my forte, as you can imagine. Sometimes it's not the easiest. We try to get our get the groove on. Oh, yeah. That jetpack's pretty cool. All right, we're doing all right. Gotta get out of there. I'm getting tore up. You let me know, guys, are you excited for Mandalorian Season 3? 
after probably at the time of recording this, the pilot has just come out. But by the time this episode goes up, it'll probably be a few in. Let me know what you think. What are you most excited for? The way two ended was very awesome. Cool guys. I'm done with this. Yeah, to my shame, I never even seen uh, uh, Ob One or the Book of Boba Fat. You know, let, what do you guys? Were those series worth seeing? Let me know in the comments below. Should I check them out? guys no more game get back fully functional and jet back fully functional oh that's cool guys how am I doing you guys think I'm doing all right oh they got me <laughs> I'm trying. As you wish. As you wish. Yeah, the Obi One series looked kind of cool. I heard good things about that, but I heard Boba Fat wasn't that great. Would you let me know what you guys think? I trust a Christian's point of view better than I do, you know, just an average Joe review, you know. I believe I can fly. <laughs> oh no, I fell, guys. <laughs> wasn't right. I didn't realize the fall to your doom. Rise from your grave. Yeah, like I said, I I'm excited for it. It's hard to support Disney, though. You know, it's like as a Christian, you kind of debate with yourself, you know, should I watch it? You know, I, I was, I snagged uh, Mandalorian season one and two on DVD actually, I know it's crazy, but I did on, uh, I think it was like eBay or something. I actually found a seller, it was like down in Australia or something that was selling it. I'm in the States, so I thought that was awesome. I'm OG, you know, it's physical media. I love collecting retro stuff. I still have Sega Genesis games, for crying out loud. <laughs> I'm definitely a retro collector. But, um, yeah. I was glad to get it, but, you know, like subscribing to Disney Plus, you know, it's like, you hate to fund, you know, them. You, I don't know. Do you guys have that problem, too? Where you find yourself, you know, like, I be, you know, subscribing to that? Or, you know, we're not. Me and my wife kind of refuse. 
I just can't bring myself to do it. But, uh, but I might catch it, you know. Oh, yeah, guys. Victory. <laughs> yeah, that was pretty sweet, guys. We'll give one more uh, go here. He did all right. We got the hang of it a little bit. We'll go one more round here. But, yeah, he's, I don't know, you kind of find yourself hard to support it when you're a Christian. But... I do like Star Wars. It's a shame that Disney bought it up, you know, <laughs> naturally. But it is what it is. No one escapes me. That's awesome, guys. Boba Fett's cool. It's one of my favorite characters as a kid. <laughs> Say farewell. Oh my goodness, guys. Tore up. Uh. Oh, thermal dent there. Uh. Oh, they got me, guys. Uh, they mean business this time. Boba Fett, at your service. Boba Fett, at your service. At your service. Reminds me of that little, like, uh, The Hobbit movie. Where it's like, all these doors kept coming in. They're like, at your service. Guys are relentless. Get out of there. Ooh, thermal in there. I'm done with this. That's a wow. Oh, they got me in the back. Ugh. Have a job. Got a job to do here. Yeah, I thought that was kind of cool, though. You know, the Mondo, living by that code, you know, it reminds me of Christianity. There's so many things in Star Wars. I mean, I actually did a whole thing on it. I got a playlist of Star Wars on uh, our channel. And I did, I, uh, when I first started the channel, I did a series called Pop Culture in the Bible. We looked at Star Wars, Turtles, Spider-Man. I mean, I did all kinds of things showing, you know, how the Bible related to today's pop culture. I played Star Wars many times in the Blind Pastor plays as well. I've always been a fan. But yeah, I was thinking about the Mondo and it's like you know, they live by that code and like that perfectly describes us in our Christian life, you know. We have a code to live by too. It's just a matter of whether we do live up to it. Oh my goodness.
Oh, I'm getting tore up. Oh, they got me again. Oh, I'm in no man's land. On the loading dock. Oh. Oh no, I did it again. <laughs> uh He dropped to his doom. Name the bounty. The name of the bounty. I have fun with you guys. I hope you have fun with this. This is cool. I love being part of a Christian community. Like I said, drop your comments. Let's talk back and forth. Other people read these comments too, and it helps them grow. If if you share something spiritually, or people just have fun when you share things you like about the games and whatever we talk about or play that day. This is your channel as much as it is as mine, guys. Oh, I'm stuck. forward to getting to know each and every one of you guys. I appreciate every subscriber I have. Oh, I fell again. I can't quit falling. I should have stopped at the first game, guys. Did all right in that one. <laughs> this one, uh, not so much. Oh my goodness, guys. I'm stuck. There we go. There we go, guys. Got This is quite a battle. A lot closer than the first one. Cool. Oh, he got me in the back again. Oh, guys. I think we got this thing. Yes! No! Oh, I didn't do much to aid in that victory, but hey, we'll take it. <laughs> All right, guys. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you appreciate this and you like this. GG, good game, and God is good. Remember, guys, if you want to join the PC Tribe, go ahead and click subscribe, and you'll join this community. Ring that little bell icon, and they'll notify you when I make another video. Let me know what you think of Mandalorian Season 3, and let me know what you think about living by the Christian code. Yes, the Mandos live by the code, and Jesus Christ tells us, to live by a Christian code as well in Luke 9 and 23. If anyone will come after me, let him deny themselves of this world, take up their cross every single day, daily, and follow me. Is that something we're doing in our Christian life, guys? And are we doing it to the way that we would honor our Savior? Only us and God can answer that, guys. We all fall short of the glory of God, but we can make up for it each and every day 
by living up to the code of our Christian Savior, Jesus Christ. Thank you guys so much for joining. If you're watching over on Twitch as well, remember to hit the follow button on Poetically Christian Gamer. And if you guys want to follow me or watch on YouTube, go ahead and jump over on Twitch. I do different kind of stuff over there sometimes. So I love to get to know you when I'm live. So till the next one, guys, I love each and every one of you. Have a blessed day and blessed wishes, guys.